Ah, good morning. What a week it's been. Yes, a week of adventure on the high seas. This week we're going to hang out with Harlem Rotatu, aka Harmonious Ra. You can check out his YouTube channel. A lot of spear fishing action on there and some other bits and pieces. A colder, into it. up the Killwell Gladiator. Got a couple of dolphins floating around at the moment, which is nice. Beautiful little bear. And, uh, big blue. Hook me up with a saw pro gig here. Limo squid. It's got a light on it. We'll probably click, click a big light. So we're going to do a drop away sinker today. Drop it down to the bottom. Um, put a bait on. Put a bonito belly bait on. And oh, those dolphins are right there. Put a bonito belly bait on and then crank it up into the feed lane and then just see what happens. At the moment we're just sitting here seeing which way the wind's taking us. Taking us offshore so it yeah, will go off the, into the deep water and drift up the face I think and over the mound and back down the other side and hopefully don't get hit by a blue nose or a pooker or a shark and hook a sword up. Probably the wrong time of year for swords out here everyone reckons but you've got to be into wind don't you? So we'll have a few drops and see how we go. Go. If any of you guys want any of this gear or interested in any of the techniques used, just give Mark a call at Big Blue and he'll give you some solid advice. Just went to grab the Black Magic gimbal bout and realised it's still sitting in the back of the truck. 20 minutes, we're pulling it up. Feels like there's a tiny little sea pitch on there, but no sword for shit, so we're gonna pull up and have a drop somewhere else. We got some, I don't know what the hell it is. It's a hokey maybe. What the hell, it's gotta be a hokey. Bro, is that a hokey? Yeah, yeah, rip it in, trying not to tangle that line up. Now hold it up high, bro, because look at it. Real high, get up in the sun there. Alright, gotta be a hokey. I've never seen a hokey before, but it's gotta be a hokey. Hey! Look at that! Look at it! Not a stinking swordfish, but we're in the right spot because swords eat hokey, so. Nice, look at his tail. Crazy. Pretty cool colours, eh? Yeah. And it's chair, not chair. It's chair, you It's chair, Bardo. It's chair, Bardo. Chair to the chair. Oh, I'll go over there and drop again, I guess. Seeing as I forgot the gimbal belt and the shotgun, yeah, we don't have a harpoon, we've only got flying gap. We're actually going to go for some table fish today, and then we'll have a go for some swords tomorrow or Monday. Because I don't really want to fight a swordfish without a gimbal belt. Or a shotgun. No. Harlem does, but do you? You do, eh? Uh, I've got a spear gun there. Harlem's got a spear gun that uh, certainly wouldn't want to get in the water with a swordfish. Yeah, so we caught a link. We're going to go for some blue nose and some pucker, and then we'll just tootle on in and chuck them in Will Wilding's freezer. Come back out tomorrow for another nudge. Okay. Alright, electric real time. Gentlemen fishing. Put it real tight, real tight bro, that's it, nice. Hold her up, oh mean, look at that. Nailed it. You can get these black magic big blue bottom bangers from Big Blue Diving Fish. I'll put the details below here. Hook your fellow selves up. We're just staggering lines. We're on some good sign here on the bottom. We're just staggering our lines out, so I've dropped mine, and then once we've come about 20 feet forward, then Harlem's going to drop his, and, and that way we uh, we won't tangle, hopefully, on the way back up. Getting a little bit choppy out here. 
nothing on that drop, so we're moving to a different spot and uh, giving Barry Blue Nose a go. Might actually head back in, it's a bit shit out here. Oh, getting bites, but there's no way in them. I think it's just a little sea perch, maybe a baby link. She's the mighty lord of the sea perch, this one. <laughs> Should have given the bloody hand reel for his first couple of fish, eh? We got a double hook up here, buddy! 26 metres to go. Looks like it's got some weight on it. Surely. Double hook up. Oh, Mate, look at that! Glorious sea perch! That's what you call the double sea perch whammy. Got to battle your way through these little buggers out here. <laughs> I come all the way to Kaikoura to catch sea perch. Story of my life. Fish on! Fish off! Oh no! Oh, it's a dirty link! Got a bloody eel! What the heck? What a weird looking eel! Oh man, I'll bet he is going to be good, be good eating. eating, bro. Yes. He's almost translucent, it's going to be real good eating. What a weird looking eel! What the... A lot of orange in that chili bin. Good eating, finally. Orange as bro. All right, we're gonna go to another bloody spot. Pick your tension off, yes. Oh. Catch of the day. She's something serious. All right. Something serious. Got a quarter feet, got a kai here, finally. A I'm not convinced, I reckon he's got two sea perch. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, what? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, blue cut. Oh shit! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, god, god. oh, about time! Yeah. That's a good time, Is it legal? Oh, yeah, just okay. legal. Beautiful. That's what you got to look out for. There. Those teeth. Those teeth are grunty. And on the left side of the boat, another stinking sea perch. That's it. We're going home. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him. Beautiful raw fish on the menu. Super, uh, the fish and chip shop. Jesus, not us going to our end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually going to say this is a sword joke. I think. I'll take that off all the way down. He's a hungry hokey. Yeah, it's quite empty, eh? There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh poor bass is still on the electric fence. It's on the ground, pig pig. It's down there, mate. Look. Yeah, stupid pig. Here, look. He'll figure it out. Is that good? Get it in ya. <laughs> what have you got here? 
Right, Fano. This right here is a beautiful sea perch. Sea perch raw fish. And what we pretty much do is fillet our fish, dice it into small pieces, get some fresh lemon, uh, marinate it in the lemon juice for an hour to three hours, depending how well cooked you want your fish. Fish. Then we uh, all we have is a red onion, tomatoes, dice them into nice little small cubes as well, and then add the fish, the tomatoes, the red onions into a bowl and coat them in the coconut cream. Here's your coconut cream. This is a good brand because it's a nice and thick brand. And um, then you mix it through and add a bit of seasoning to taste and just a little bit of green stuff just to like sort of break through the richness of that uh, coconut cream. Solid. It's tough, eh? Fish more. Swim bladder out of a ling. <laughs> ling crackle. Fish crackle. <laughs> Sir, your dinner? Here's Lady Muck doesn't like the fish tonight. Old mate Mike Brown from Seamus Fishing Charters slung us a bin full of salt ice, which is awesome because now we've got a slurry. We're just going to put the fish straight in a chilli bin, but you can't beat a good slurry to keep the fish cold, so look them up. Seamus Charters out of Kaikoura. See you, mate. See you, lads. It's a lot better day than it was yesterday. reached our fishing grounds but there's nothing coming up on the sounder so we're just driving around slowly looking for signs of bait and then when we see some good colour on the bottom then we'll drop into that but as of yet not much down there. We're going to go with the blue nose first and then see if we can get a little bit of that in the chilli bin. Dropping! Just remember folks, if you want some of those big blue bottom bangers, just give Mark and Mario from Big Blue a call. I'll put the details below here. Heaps of fishing advice. They specialize in snapper actually. If you want to know how to catch big snapper, tips and techniques, get a hold of Mark Cotton from Big Blue. You can also check out Mark Cotton's YouTube channel, The Flog. He's been flogging it since ages ago, but he's only put his flog in public recently actually. And yeah, I'll occasionally jump on the old internet there and watch Mark flog a big snapper. Pretty mean fishing vlogs. Check them out. Oh, you dropped them. You got them? Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. No, nice little sea perch, that one. <laughs> Stay tuned, Fano. Oh, he's on. He's the fish too. Yeah, it's on. This ain't a sea perch. A little blue nose here. This ain't a sea perch. Come on, blue nose. That'd be a sea perch. Is he floating up? Oh, oh nice. Oh. Look at that little chicken. Little chicken. You beauty. Thank you. That means thank you, Ocean, for thank you, you white fellas out there. <laughs> now that's a Derek, it's the A, bro. Too much. Shot brother Josh, bringing us out here, bro. What are you doing there, mate? Bleeding this fish, just cut around the gills, around that side. Around inside there is another little nice thin layer of skin. As you can see, when you cut that layer, it bleeds them out really well. That stops them tasting muddy. They can be a little bit muddy if you don't bleed the fish. Bloody huge monster. Might have another ling on here. Here it comes! Yeah! Oh. Chuck it in the garden. Gonna grow some mean as asparagus with this stuff. Oh, 
start to chop up a bit. So we're going to try to catch just a couple of blue cod and then we'll head for home. So we'll change the rigs up and give her a nudge. Oh mate, bro, we are in perch country. Relentless. Chili bin's looking very orange at the moment. You want it to be a bit bluer and a bit more grey. Oh, bloody, the Harpooka spot's an hour over there and it's chopping up a bit. Oh, a pound. It's real short period waves to us. It's boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. boom. Whew, maybe we'll just bloody pound our way over the Harpooka spot. Looks actually, it feels like it's calming down a bit, eh? A little bit, bro. What do you reckon? Yep. Pookers on. Bugger it, we're here. Oh, okay. <laughs> there? No, no. We'll go home tomorrow, not today. We're going to go home today. We'll pester Will for another night. Say hi to Vela and then go home tomorrow. Josh is on. Oh, oh, that's bloody huge! Yeah! There we go. That's a good fish. Oh, right. beautiful! Oh, that is what you call a blue moon. Oh, yes! Holy shit! Oh, he's on the bottom. You got the bottom, bro. Oh. See if you can work him out. So take the take it off and just try lift him out. He might have gone into a hole. I think he is. He snagged you. A little, little bit off. Uh, let your tension off the, the little star reel, yeah, that won't wind that down. And then just give him heaps of slack. Bugger, it might be a good pocket if he's going to a hole. Let it, let it off? Yeah, let real slack. Oh, yeah, real slack, and then try to get him up again. Try now. Don't point low to keep that rod low, it will snap. Okay. Arlen took the stonker and it's taken him into a hole. Buddy You're gonna lock it up. Lock the spool up and I'll try it back because we'll see if we can break the line off of the other hooker it's caught. Now he got the line free but lost his rig. I knew this bloody spool was no go go. We're out of here. Aerofast, these Aerofast straps are made in New Zealand, made in Christchurch by New Zealanders. They are probably the best straps on the market. So if you want to get yourself some good quality straps, just look up Aerofast. They can also custom make to whatever size and length you need. Check them out. Few people ask me what kind of boat because it's DNA, it's DNA alloy boat. See on the side, on the side. Building out an awesome get one. Give Jace a ring, he'll sort you out. And Justin Will's here to your orchard. Grabbing some grapefruit. These grapefruit trees are super old and the grapefruit on them are very, very sweet, just like oranges actually. They're so good to eat and they're just always loaded and there's always a heap of ripe ones on here. Thanks Wilding family. Blue dog, good day, mate. It's really make that skin. Oh. Tonight's episode, we're having blue nose. We're gonna stuff the shit out of it, then bake the shit out of it, and then we're gonna eat it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Should be enough to feed four of us blokes. Harlem's just putting some salt and pepper on there to hopefully crisp the skin up a bit. And we're gonna put some stuffing made of leeks, onions, Sesame dressing because we couldn't find any sesame seeds. What else do we put in the eggs? Salt, yes. pepper, bread, onion, onion, pepper, parsley, and a bit of thyme. Just bang it in. Oh, and some QP sauce. 
Jeff and his dressing, we just everything's so good with this stuff on it. Banged a whole bunch of shit in the stuffing and, and bung it in the fish. Should be right. Fresh herbs from Will's Garden. Cheers, Will. Vela's the driving force behind the fresh herbs. There's some real nice looking carrots out there too, but I'll leave those for you, mate. in the ocean the blue nose in my opinion Ooh. hard to beat beautiful 